Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you how to downgrade a package in Arch Linux using Pac-Man and to uh, keep the package from updating with future updates. Um, as an introduction, sometimes uh, updates come through, especially in rolling releases, um, that break something. And that recently happened to me. And specifically, it broke the scanning functionality in my scanner. Um, and, and what happened is um, I have an all-in-one HP printer scanner and the um, a pr new printer driver was released without the um, without an updated plugin and um, every time um, the printer driver is released for um, the Hewlett Packard they release printer driver you actually have to m go through and manually uh, run the setup uh, to install the, the latest plugin well uh, with this particular update um, the HPLIB package uh, for the, the uh, printer driver was released, but HP hasn't yet released an updated um, scanner plugin for it. And so when I go to scan, I get an error, which is here, unable to connect to scanner. And that's because the um, printer driver was updated and there's no scanner plugin for it. Uh, so what we'll do here is we'll downgrade to the previous um, to the previous printer driver, um, and I already have the plugin for that printer driver installed on my system, uh, so it should work. So the first thing we'll do is let's open up our file manager. We'll go to Arch. Uh, we'll go to var, cache, pacman, package, and let's search for HPLIP. Okay. Um, okay. Okay, here's uh, the 23.8 the is the latest version of the printer driver that I just installed that's not working, so I need to roll back to this um, uh, 3.23.5. So to do that, let's open up the terminal. Go to this over here, and we will enter the following command. sudo pacman u file colon forward slash forward slash forward slash there's three forward slashes there now let's copy this path here uh, let's not grab that the first forward slash since we already have three forward slashes in our terminal so we'll copy that and we'll paste that here now let's go to the HPLIP um, the previous driver that I had installed now don't worry about the sig file uh, that's just for um, verification of the package. So we'll um, click on that, click on properties, and this is indeed the previous one that I had installed, 3.23.5. Let's copy that. Let's paste that here. Okay, and hit enter. Okay. Now, if we go back to our scanner, let's let it connect. It'll take a few moments. Uh, sorry about that. Why wait? Maybe you can hit the like button. I'd appreciate that. That way it'll help other people um, that may find this helpful uh, to be able to find this with the YouTube algorithms. Now we hit scan. Oh, let's make sure we've got a single page. Scan. Now my scanner's running. And it works. So that fixed my issue. Um, but next time I go to update Arch, um, it will basically, I'll get, um, let me quit without saving. I'll, I'll get the same issue. Uh, I'll just, if I run pseudo pacman syu, I'll run into the same problem. So what I want to do is keep it from updating again in the future. So we can close this out. We can close this out. Um, so what we'll, we'll edit. Um, etc pacman.conf. So um, I use micro, you can use nano, vim, whatever you use. And it's etc pacman.conf. And then we go down here to the line that says ignore package, uncomment that. And the name of my package is hplip. So I enter the package name in there, let's save that, let's quit. Now let's run sudo pacman dash SYU and you can see right here it's ignoring the package upgrade so I won't run into this problem 
um, again. Now, uh, what I can do, let's say um, HP, whenever they get around to releasing the um, scanner plugin, uh, if I do decide that I want to um, upgrade to the to the new version of HPLIP, I can just go back into the pacman.conf file and comment out uh, that line that tells it not to upgrade the pa package. So let's go in here. Yeah, I would basically um, come down here and I can comment that out and then it will upgrade the package. Um, but like I said, for now, um, the printer's working, the scanner's working, there's no reason for me to upgrade that package. Um, so we'll just quit out of there. Um, so I hope uh, you learned something with this. Oh, one other note, um, in the AUR, there's a package called downgrade. I have not tried it, um, but that's also a way to downgrade packages. Um, and I, I did find a YouTube video on, um, on actually a, a former package name called downgrader, in which it would give you a bunch of options of which package to downgrade to. Again, I haven't tried it out, and that video was about four years old, um, so I don't know how well that works. Uh, but anyways, um, the solution I've showed you here does work, um, and it, it, it can really solve some headaches for you if you know if you if things break due to package updates. Okay, I hope you learned something in this video. Have a great day. Bye.